Hi, Ryan O'Grady here. Let's get organized for the Basic Skills module. This module will give you an introduction to basic skills that every librarian needs. In addition to tips on basic searching, you will learn about the all-important reference interview and model reference behaviors. These behaviors are the foundation for creating a great relationship with your customer. We will expand upon this relationship by discussing how to create a welcoming and inclusive environment in our libraries. One thing we will not discuss is how to use are the number of different LISs used across the state. Your system trainers will show you how to use your particular systems. Let's get into more details about what we will learn. We have a lot of learning objectives in this module. First, we'll demonstrate effective use of model reference behaviors. You'll list at least two differences between reference interviews with adults and reference interviews with children. Explain the difference between a database and the internet in the way that a customer can understand. List at least one Sailor database. Describe the appropriate use of keywords, subjects, or narrowing the search through limiters. Describe the appropriate use of search cards. Explain how to analyze the credibility of information. List two ways to assess a website quickly. Identify boundaries to a library's expertise. Identify when and how to make appropriate referrals. Identify and utilize key reference sources for common questions in your system. And explain the difference between equity and inclusion. There are eight lessons, three assignments, and two open forum discussion boards in this module. In lesson one, we will be learning all about model reference behaviors. Then your supervisor or colleagues will watch you in action using either real or pretend customers. For your assignment, you will upload three completed reference behavior checklists and discuss your plan for improving your skills. And in your next assignment, you will develop your own way to explain what a database is to a customer. Lesson three has tips for searching. We will be using Google and Explorer, but many of these tips may be used in any search engine or database. Lesson four has information that we'll find using, all the, using the all important crap test. In lesson five, we will be discussing the kinds of questions librarians can answer and when we need to refer to an expert. Referrals to experts are part of our jobs too. In lesson six, we will talk about Marina, our statewide interlibrary loan platform, and brainstorm with colleagues about go-to reference resources. Lesson seven, we'll discuss exceptional customer service. And in the two discussion forums, we will talk about our personal customer service philosophy and what it looks like in the library. Lesson eight is on the importance of inclusion, making everyone feel welcome and feel that it is their library. Here are some tips. Don't overthink the assignments. The reference interview require practice, practice. As a librarian, you will be working on these reference behaviors over the course of your entire career. Our goal now is to have you begin this work by having you identify your strengths and weaknesses and to come up with a plan to improve your skills. The other two assignments will help you develop your own words to answer a common customer question and help you explore the concept of inclusion and what it really means to you. These are short answers, 100 words or less. Limit your open form posts to 250 words or less. Focus on your customer. What does customer service mean to you and what does it look like in the library? Don't agonize about the word count in the assignments and forum posts. These are just guidelines so that you don't make more work for yourself than is required. Remember, system mentors and LATI staff are here to help you. Have fun and find new ways to help your customers.